Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Better Effects with Blend Modes using Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use blend modes to add texture to text. One of the simplest things that we can do is to change the opacity of a text clip. For instance, here I have a, a full screen text clip keyed over a background which is generated inside Final Cut 10. These blend modes work the same in 10.1 as they do inside 10.0, so regardless of which version of Final Cut 10 you're running, you'll be able to achieve these effects. Whenever we want to apply a blend mode, we always work with the top, generally the text, clip. So I'm going to select the text clip and go over to the inspector. That's this button right here. Keyboard shortcut is Command-4. Go up to the Video tab and go all the way down to the bottom. And to change the opacity, you grab this slider and drag it. Notice that what started to happen is the word opacity becomes faint and we start to see a little bit of the texture behind, but it's not as rich a texture inside the text character as it is in the background. And the text itself has lost some of its vibrancy, its, its, its sharpness, its, its, its color. I mean, it, it's fading away. Well, sometimes that's what you want. You want to be able to have something be translucent or just barely visible, and that's perfect for the opacity slider. But what happens if you want to retain the color? For instance, let me show you. If I turn on a second text clip, type the letter V, same word, same font, different color, opacity. By the way, the letter V toggles the visibility of a clip on and off. If I select this, and now I grab the opacity and drag it down, the color is fading away. I mean, um, this is just not working. So let's try something different. Let's go to the blend mode. There are several different categories of blend modes. Multiply, that's this one, between this horizontal line and this horizontal line. Multiply gives us five different ways that we can combine clips based upon the shadow detail. Screen gives us five different ways we can combine clips and textures using highlight detail. The overlay and the seven options associated with it, overlay gives us the ability to combine clips based upon the midtone detail. Difference and exclusion are principally color, and this group, stencil alpha, is transparency. We're going to work with all of these groups in this webinar. For right now, just to show you the difference, let me switch the green opacity to multiply mode and watch what happens to both the texture and the color in two, one, woof. Oh my goodness, look at that. It looks like the word opacity has been spray painted directly on the rock. Look at how the texture is as vibrant under the letters as it is next to the letters. And look at how the color has been retained and not faded as opposed to the top clip where if I take it halfway to zero, the texture is faded and the color is faded and the characters are faded. So let's take a look at some other examples. Here's the word texture. If you've got absolutely perfect vision, you may see a very, very dark RE over here. This is a highlight. It's about 90% white. This is a midtone. It's about 50% gray. And this is a black. It's about 10%. So I have three different grayscale values. If I turn on the background, we can see just barely by squinting, there's the TE, the XTU, and there's the RE. I'm going to select the text clip. When you apply a blend mode, it's mostly done with text. Not always. You'll see that in a couple of examples. But it's mostly done with text, and you always select that which you want to apply the blend mode to. So I'm going to select the text clip. Blend modes are stored inside the inspector. That's this button right here. Keyboard shortcut is Command-4. I'm going to leave it on for the rest of this webinar. And go up to the Video tab inside the inspector. When you scroll all the way down, and I've hidden all these by clicking the Hide button to just make these categories all smaller so I can get to the bottom more quickly, blend modes are stored at the bottom under the Compositing category. Blend modes are grouped into several categories. This is the Multiply category. This works with the darker pixels. This is the Screen category from this horizontal line to that horizontal line. This works with the Highlight detail. This is the overlay category. This works with midtone detail. Difference and exclusion are principally used with colors. 
stencil and silhouettes are used to put pictures inside pictures. We'll wrap up this presentation with that. There's some very cool effects we do here. An alpha add and pre-multiplied mix I haven't worked with because if I'm doing an alpha key, I'm going to do that differently than use a blend mode. But watch what happens as I apply a screen. What screen does is it combines the lighter pixels, the highlight pixels. Notice the ones that predominate are those that are the brightest. Then as the grayscale value drops, the, the pixels are less predominant and it ignores all the dark pixels entirely. This is one way of keying a white graphic against a black background is just apply a screen to it and it will automatically key rather than use a luma key. If we change the blend mode though from screen, remember these combine based upon lighter pixels, to overlay, this combines based upon mid-tone pixels. Notice that I can see my lighter pixels well, I see my darker pixels well, but I don't see a whole lot of the mid-tones. The change in the effect is based upon the grayscale inside the text. Or if I go to multiply, multiply combines based upon the darker pixels. Notice this is more washed out. We see the mid-tones better, but clearly the darkest pixels predominate. Notice I'm not adjusting anything. There's no sliders. There's no numbers. It's you either like it or you don't. But what we're seeing now is we can start to change the effect. I'm going to just select a couple of the darker ones. I can change the effect within the category. They all, these five all work based upon combining the darker pixel values, or these five the lighter pixel values, or these seven the mid-tone pixel values. And just by selecting a different option, you get a different effect. That sort of sets the scene for where we're going. We've got three grayscale categories, screen, which is lighter, overlay, which is mid-tones, and multiply, which is darker. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at better effects using blend modes inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 122. Membership is a great value, especially when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 700 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any Power Up webinar for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.